All right, so welcome on back to Barstool Breakfast. It's me and Willie, and we're joined here in the studio uh, by one of our favorite guests. Yeah. I, I was looking over my um, my timeline or something, my Twitter followers the other day, because I was just recently followed by a band called Smash Mouth. Oh. That, you know, whatever it is, Old right? school group? Yeah, like old school. Yeah, yeah, they had one, one hit or whatever. Right. Um, but I said, who's the most famous person that follows me? And you must have a bunch just from your oh, playing I thought you were going to say me. I think it might, it, oh, okay. yeah, it was you, and then okay. you just got supplanted by Smash Mouth, maybe. It was, <laughs> I, I have no fucking clue. And then I was like, no, I'm absolutely wrong. The most person, uh, the most famous person that follows me on Twitter, the most famous person that I think I've spoke to since I started Barstool, for me, it's got to be Lisa Ann, and we're lucky enough to have the legendary Lisa Ann join us in the studio today. So welcome aboard again, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Yeah. It's always great to be here. The energy in this in this building is just incredible, and you're following. I have met so many nice people on social media from coming on with you guys Tuesday mornings to help Glennie with the team. I, it's so much nicer to have you here in the flesh, obviously, uh, because you're uh, a beautiful woman and whatnot, but I also have to say that having you call in was the most positive call-in thing that we had because you have a voice, excuse me, you have a phone set up at home in your old place that made it seem like you were next to us. So it was very easy for us to do it because I, I think we would, would we would abandon it probably halfway through the probably. season can if you, it wasn't from it. Can you explain to people what your phone setup is? Because I think for a lot of people, it seems like you know one of those Burger King headsets with the mouthpiece. And yeah. You just... If you could start with your cell number because a lot of the DMs was asking for that and then we'll go from there. Right. Yeah, give out the cell number so I can be blocking people all day. Um, I have what's called a Comrex device and it's something that I invested in when I started with Sirius because I could travel with it as long as I had a direct connection into a router okay. that had enough push with the upload speed for me to connect. And yes, it does have the weird headset yeah. thing, but it's been awesome for me for interviews on every platform because it's there's nothing worse than a bad cell phone connection when you're trying to do an interview. You guys know that. Or somebody that's like walking around. Right. When you're trapped on this thing and connected to the Comrex, you can't walk around. So you're still. It's a great connection. And I will tell you guys, uh, during football season, I sold my house in L.A. And there was a temporary period of time that you just don't realize. Um, I didn't want to make noise in the hotel I was staying at 5 in the morning to be a guest with you. So I would go outside in the freezing cold, in the dark, and sit in my car. Oh, yeah. And that's how I did the shows. You were committed, and we yeah. thank you. Yeah. Commitment. Yeah. I don't know how much many, how many more times we could say thank you. Fucking no, no. easy, Lisa. <laughs> no, no. You were talking to us. It was but, like you were giving fucking bone marrow. But I, I laughed at it because Lisa. I'm so scared of the dark normally. That's not something. But I felt like as soon as I linked on to you guys, I felt safe. So okay. I was like, nothing's going to happen to me. Not like you guys knew where I was, but I did it. You called in. I called in. That helped. Yeah. Never missed. Never and missed. now when you walk into this office now, right away, people crawl out of rocks. To come and see, like all, all of a sudden, like I know you're coming in, you're doing some stuff with Glenny because you owe Glenny something uh, to a degree. Um, I think you know there's some something maybe trends coming by, and I don't mean that they're cr rock crawls or anything, but like Mantis just came in. Like it, there's all these people. As soon as yeah. you come in, it's like your dance card is full. It must be like the junior prom all over again. What's it like coming? And I know this place is much more respectful than if you show up for a a featured dance place at the at the Giggle Hut or something. But how does it feel to walk into a place like this with the cast of characters that we have here? I'm pretty lucky. Uh, I feel very lucky. I get a pretty positive response. It's a lot of good smiles. I get <laughs> smiles, okay? Even on the street, I get smiles. People look at me, they realize who I am. I had a guy the other day, he's like, yo, Lisa, great to see you. Just walked away. I was like, great to see you too, buddy. Right. You know, out of a rock, just came out. We have two new people uh, to the pirate ship by the name of uh, Wallow267 and Gilly the King. Uh, they have the Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast. We dropped your name. Uh, we said, man, we you know, Lisa's a friend of the show. She comes on, and both of them just erupted. Like, they exploded into fucking confetti. They love you. So I'm doing a, I'm giving them a shout-out on their behalf. So they're big fans of yours, too. Well, I've spent a lot of time with these guys. Uh, the brothers? In spirit, or? You know, in spirit, a lot of men have spent okay. time with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. It's a lot of spirit has been spilled. A lot of spirit. Yes. Yeah. Um, so now, can you talk about your move? You're a, you're a New Yorker now? I am a New Yorker That's now. Yeah. It is okay. official. It is done, bam. All in one swoop. Sold the house, got my place here. I also minimized my life down by 75% mm -hmm. to be able to fit. I refused to have you're a storage a lady, unit. Are you? No pets. Okay. I'm a commitment. I'm afraid of commitment. I realize that. I got you. I want a pet, but I'm afraid to commit. Have you ever had a pet? I have. I have. I've had pets. Okay. But, you know, I like to travel. And I realized this the other day. I realized the reason I don't have a pet is because I'm afraid of commitment. And it's and, and it's shameful. Oh. But I do like to be a free bird. Do you throw that out? Do you throw that out there kind of casually that you're afraid of commitment? Or is it part of the industry that you're in? Like, do you see yourself 
like now that you're at a point where you're slowing down on the filming, which we'll talk about in a sec, do you see yourself settling down at some point with one other dude just kind of hanging out on rocking chairs somewhere in the Adirondacks, getting old, getting fat, that whole thing, which, which is I'm, what I've started to do probably about 10 years ago? I would love ago. to. Uh, okay. The getting old is going to happen gracefully. The getting fat I will not allow. Okay. Um, but I would love to have a plus one. I'd love to have someone who likes to ski, who likes to hike, who likes to have adventures, who likes to watch sports. Um, so, yeah, I definitely would love to. Has it been a stumble block like with your with the with the past doing all the movies and stuff like that for guys? Does it intimidate them more than anything? I I'm I'm shocked that I was talking to Patty about this earlier. I'm shocked that when you were coming in, I had mentioned that I I had heard you on my wife's podcast that we're gonna go out and have dinner together. Like I'm shocked with how fucking comfortable I am with you. I, because there should be, I thought there'd be more like I discomfort and stuff. Well, I think you you have more balls than me. Like I, I you, you're an extraordinary person, but it just seems like it was something where it should make me more uncomfortable for some reason. I don't know what it is, but you seem to transcend that. And so I fucking love it. So I'm like, yeah, I'd love to have dinner with you and my wife. I'm going to do a, like maybe a vegetarian thing. I hope you're not standing me up on I'll this thing either. I'll eat whatever you yeah. guys will we'll figure it. Uh, you know, there's Isn't a, a hurdle lot of, with friends. King Juan Air. There's a lot of love here. Yeah, and yeah. Now I want to ask you this. Go. You probably can't watch my product anymore. No. See, that's what happens. People meet me and they fall Lisa, in love and then they're like, I can't watch. I'm going to be honest. I watched you two days ago. Good I mean, you're good for you. Good for you. Different thing here. Different thing. Here. Ax Jeeves. That's why he's not amazing coming. Too. That's why he's not coming to dinner. <laughs> totally different. <laughs> um, the dating question. Up even until like, no, like a friendship question. I don't want to get too deep into it, but like even like a friendship question. You seem like that. Is that a hurdle for you at times? I'm very specific. Yeah, it's a small bubble, but I'm fine with that because having a smaller bubble really helps me celebrate those people. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm cooking for a friend on Thursday night. I'm cooking for. I'm actually cooking for Glennie on Thursday day. I mean, I just do intimate things with the small group of people that I have. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. But I have finally decided, and I just told my doorman, I'm ready to date. Uh, once in a while. Why the doorman? Uh, because he knows That's a guy that, that I had met through him a while back. I have to meet people through people, and they have to already kind of know my backstory. So you don't like, so you don't like the old school way. If, like, you're a, a beautiful lady. You're at a bar. I'm like, hey, let's just say I don't know who you are, and I just come and approach, and I, you know, I want to get to know you, ask your number, and possibly something happens on later down the road. You don't like that approach. I'm a little afraid of people that say they don't know who I am because I think they're lying. Most people, most guys do know who I am. And also, I'm just not a bar person because once people get drunk and then realize who I am, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. So It's damn right. Assault sometimes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets nasty. Wow. Okay. So I have to meet people through people. So yes, I'm willing to do this little experiment uh, because that's the only way I'm going to- be spoken for to have a shot with you. Yeah. Oh, Yeah. But can it be a regular guy, or does he have to have 23 rushes for 150 yards? Regular guy. Regular guy. Regular guy just needs to have a job and like what he does. He doesn't have to be rich. He just has to like what he does. I mean, you got to have some, I look at it like equal or greater value, some right? Some money. Equal or greater no. value, yeah, right? Not, equal. I'm not going to support somebody. Put it that to, way. Yeah. You but don't want a 55 year old gamer. Well, like, but if like, I met a teacher, they don't make great money, but he loves what he does, then sure, then I'd be like, hey, you okay. know what? I completely support that because teachers should be paid better than they are. Yeah. I actually saw one of your movies where you did meet a teacher, uh-huh. and I remember that working out very well for that gentleman. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll I'll pepper in a DM that we get from people every now and again. Uh, ben uh, put this one out, and this is important. Lisa, marry, fuck, kill, me, Willie, and Glenny. You better answer this fucking correctly. This is actually oh a large question. Gosh. Yeah. I don't, this is a, this, nobody slid in the DMs. This let is me, large let, accidents. Let me, let me repeat. Nobody fucking slid in. Let me repeat this. This is from a guy <laughs> named Ben. This marry, is the toughest kill. question already? I mean, like, I know large, I'm Large, gl- please. Large, <laughs> Willie, and Glenny. Marry, fuck, kill. Oh my gosh, this is, I don't want to kill 20, any of you. 20 years. I but you're both married. Down. Yes, I, no, yeah, and, and that's why, off. that's the whole thing. This isn't a vacuum. We're not, we're not necessarily married. I, but they didn't die, they, they were on the same flight together. <clears throat> God forbid, I don't, I don't want to say that. But now you <laughs> can, have to. Can Glenny not find out my answer? Glenny until? cannot, he'll, there's no way Glenny would know. Okay. So I'm going to marry you because there you're- you you're, you're, you're so, yeah, so, You know that he's getting fucking killed. And, right? and, and, <laughs> Look at his eyes and his asshole. I've seen him. You know exactly where this is going. <laughs> I got to kill Glenny. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So there you go. So that goes back to you still watching the videos. Right. Now you can watch the videos yeah. with a little extra sauce. She just gave me right? more motivation for yeah. my weight That challenge. was not a question yeah. in the DM. No one's that clever. No. That's only- This is you. definitely a large. This is what large- I is swear to God. Large here's a, drove in and thought about that. Multiple people have asked for pictures of your feet. I'm not going to give them to that. That's very interesting. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a lot un- of feet. 
I got to be honest with you. So I just I just opened it up. I don't have a lot of Twitter followers. I have less than 60 grand. I have like 59 grand or something. So I had opened up the DMs. I'm telling you, people lit up asking for pictures of, of her feet. Yeah. And I was like, I, I'm not... I'm not. I'm not asking. I don't want pictures of feet, and I don't want to put them out there and stuff like that. But I'm like, you could see a lot more than feet. It's just the, at the at the you know press of a button of Lisa Ann if you'd like to. Oh, yeah. But here's it's, the deal. I look at it like this. My friends and I talk about this all the time. Later in life, when I don't look good anymore, I can still take care of my feet. That's true. So if that's I ever true. needed to cash in, like if things got down and out, I could just be selling pictures of my feet on the internet. That is the backup plan, just in case. It makes sense. So then the feet thing does make sense. Yeah. So then keep. So don't give them away for free. I'm not. I'm still not going to ask you for them. But just know that there's a tremendous amount of uh, demand. Did the so brown- you don't mind the feet. Yeah. Not to cut you off, large. You don't mind the feet ass. Like people want to take pictures of your feet. No, you don't it's mind been it. a big thing of mine. I used to have guys come into clubs and offer me a great deal of money to just hold my feet in their hands and, and then take a picture. It totally creeped me out, but I did it. You know what I mean? You're there to make money. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, and he's not touching my butt or being creepy. Right, right, right. It's my feet. Like I only it's only in my mind that it's weird, right? So that's his thing and they would just hold my feet and I you know, I'm sure that they did not wash their hands for a while and whatever happened after that, I just erased it from my mind. So what's your creepy fetish? I, you know, the feet thing actually turned me on to looking at feet, and so Somebody I'll look under- Somebody sent me that under- in a DM, by the way. Willie C. sent me that in a DM. What's your creepy <laughs> fetish as long as we're talking about I that. find myself looking under bathroom stalls, especially like if you're at a beach thing in Vegas, and, and they have the short stalls, yeah, and everybody's yeah. in there with flip-flops or whatever. I find myself now looking, and I realize that I am kind of turned off when a girl has janky feet. Oh, like I Like if her polish you. is chipped right. off, and her feet are nasty. I mean, when girls would show up for my movies- when I was producing and they would not have good feet, I would put Lee press on nails on their toenails to make sure that their polish looked good. No really? way. Yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah. I got to be honest, not to switch your first answer, but once you get a look at Willie's feet, you're going to be banging Glenny, still marrying me, listen, and putting a bullet in this fucking no, guy's head. No, I totally head. agree. It's with, like 10 poker chips on his toes. Listen, I totally agree with Lisa. I, I was, listen, I banged a girl that had feet like a fullback. So I, <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not, when you're in a bed, you want it to all look right. Like, so. I want to run a marathon. But I don't want to mess up my feet. So that's why I've never run a marathon. Honestly, it jacks well, up mar- your feet. Not no, one marathon. One marathon will jack up your feet. Really? And yeah, and I like to See, wear I would nice think skiing shoes. would do that. Nah, because you're in protective up in boots. Those ski boots? Well, skiing, yeah, skiing jacks would, up my feet. Right. No, it doesn't for me. I just put on boots that fit. Uh, that's well, true because you, yeah, <laughs> you don't have size 14s, right. and they only go up to 13 or 17. <laughs>